this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns. Come here to gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. So I want to preach all my subscribers. I want to preach all good information. Appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love. Appreciate everything that y'all do for the two community. Like I said before, y'all the star people. I'm just the messenger. Just the average citizen trying to uphold the Constitution to defend the Second Amendment. So with that said, I want to talk about some more Walmart news and stuff. The effect of the Walmart news. Now, uh, you know, when a lot of people heard that, a lot of people say, hey, you know, you know, I don't care this and that. Or, you know, they've done that before. Or I don't shop at Walmart. You know, I didn't. I heard all the concerns and stuff that, you know, the comments and stuff that people talked about that situation. But one thing that you didn't hear about the effect that Walmart had on the two-way community, especially when it comes to farms and ammunition. That's the reason why I say it's always a bigger effect of something. Uh, to my, a lot of us look at that, 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 that what's in front of us and the main subject and topic of that situation, but there's always something happening in the background. Now, uh, to my, when everybody talked about Walmart removed their farms and ammunition, and a few days later they come back and say, hey, they're going to put it back on the shelves and everything, but when they said they was going to remove it and it hit the headlines, people, that was a ripple effect for the farm manufacturers, the ammo manufacturers. Uh, to my, it affected hunters and gun owners and stuff out there. It affected a lot of people. And a lot of areas, Walmart, you know, catered to these people and stuff because that they're the only place in the area where they can get ammo and farms and stuff like that, hunting supplies and gear and stuff. So it was a huge effect. But only not only that affected hunters and stuff in that situation, but guess what? The ammo manufacturer stocks took a hit. I'm to my ammo stocks took a hit. I'm to my soon the news reported. Guess what? Smith and Weston stock dropped four percent. Stern Ruger stock dropped uh one percent. V stock door stock dropped ten percent. Other ammo manufacturers and stuff dropped right along with it. Even though they're pumping all this ammunition out, people are still trying to buy ammunition. Up to my farms are still being sold. Their stock still dropped. News has a huge repercussion in the two-way community. I keep telling people that. So, you know, a lot of these companies and stuff, you know, any bad negative news can hurt these companies. That's the reason why I say, up to my, if this election don't turn out for gun owners, like I said, up to my, these companies are going to, they're going to, it's going to be an effect on that. If Joe Biden wins, people, the farm manufacturers and the ammo companies, guess what? They're going to take a huge hit. Because they already know that these laws and stuff, that's why I've been talking about you saying farm manufacturers, ammo manufacturers are making moves. I talked about you have GS Performance. They're moving to Tennessee from California. Um, you have Sky. They're making moves going to Florida. I'm talking about you have an ammo manufacturer overseas coming here to the United States. You have people expanding. Some are not expanding. Some are waiting because they've been through many elections. They don't want to make too many um, moves and stuff, make bad mistakes. So they're sitting still to wait to see how the election turn out. Like I said, people, this election has a huge effect in the 2A community. Not only on gun owners, but your farms and ammunition manufacturers and stuff like that. This election can dictate, you know, if they're going to make new investments or they're going to do different things or they're going to move out of a state that might affect, you know, their business and stuff when it comes to making ammo and farms. It is huge, people. It's, it's a huge repercussion in the 2A community that I'm trying to get out there. So a lot of information I'm still looking at and stuff like that. But I just want to let people, a lot of people know that's coming into the 2A community that there is a ripple effect when it comes to this election. So get out and vote, people. We have to vote because we got a lot on the line, not just gun laws, but everything. Everything that has to do with the 2A businesses and stuff like that. Everything. So just want to talk about that a little bit. This is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.